Welcome to the E30 M5X Swap Guide. This series is designed to help anyone looking to fit an M5X engine into their E30. We'll be covering five topics, engine drivetrain, cooling, brake booster relocation, intake and exhaust, and wiring and ECU. In engine and drivetrain, we'll be covering your options for engine, transmission, and what drive shaft, differential, clutch, flywheel, and starter you should be using for that choice. On top of that, we'll be covering what mounts you'll need for the swap. In cooling, we'll be covering your radiator options, your radiator hose options, your temp switch and cooling fan, as well as some recommended service items. In part three, we'll be covering brake booster relocation. I'll show you how I kept my stock brake feel and only spent $10. For intake and exhaust, we'll be covering your options for air filter, intake manifold, exhaust manifold, or exhaust headers, as well as the throttle cable you'll need for the swap. In wiring and ECU, we'll look at the ECU you need for your swap and how to avoid EWS, as well as how to wire in the C101 plug and how to get the water temp gauge working in your E30. Through each of these parts, I'll show you the different options that you have, as well as what I would recommend. None of these options are necessarily better or worse, it just depends on your budget and how far you'd like to take the build. For my build, I was on a budget, but not at the expense of the safety or quality of the swap. Now that we know what we're getting into, let's get started. I'll see you in video two.